Happy Easter, friends. What a joy and blessing it was to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord last Sunday. We were blessed to have uh, many people here at Drew Church, and, uh, and I was able to have family here. Others had family. We had people joining us online. What a wonderful celebration. And thank you to Teresa Walsh, who decorated this altar so beautifully, all adding to the, the signs and symbols of new life around us and within us. Yes, Easter is about new life, renewal of life, resurrection, rising from the dead. And it is a gift that God offers to us, not just at Easter, but always. Easter is, is a new beginning, a new opportunity for us all to start over again, to feel the blessings of new life through Jesus Christ. We know that Easter certainly was a new beginning for his followers uh, as they, they closed themselves off and they were trapped in their grief. And then the women and the men then uh, who encountered the risen Christ shared the stories and were full of astonishment. How could this be? And oh my goodness, what an amazing blessing for all. We will continue to hear those stories for the next few weeks, and I hope that you will join us in person or online. It comes as a reminder to us that we are always offered the gifts of new life as individuals and as congregations. And I pray that as spring continues to, well, spring forth across our land here, that we will grab on to those beautiful signs of new life and claim them for ourselves, that we will ask God into our hearts, that we will ask the, the power of the risen Lord to be in us and in our churches so that we too may be reborn. This is a joyous time of year. And I pray that the resurrection spirit will fill us all and give us hope for the future, peace and joy and love, which we will share with a hurting world around us. May new resurrection life be with you and with your loved ones and with us all. Amen. <music>